and thank you for choosing a 120 series Y strainer. This quick installation tip video will help to give you a general overview of what you need to know to get started with the installation of your Y strainer. When you open the box, the first thing that you should notice is a nice set of installation instructions. It does have everything that you need to know in it, so be sure to read it. The 120 series Y strainer is available in half inch to one and a quarter inch sizes and either sweat or NPT connections. When you pull the Y strainer out of the box, you'll notice some pretty interesting features, but the first thing that you should notice on the Y strainer is that there is a directional arrow, so make sure to install it in your piping in the proper flow. But on the inlet side of the Y strainer, you'll notice a nice isolation ball valve. This is gonna come really in handy for service down the road. On the outlet side of the Y strainer, you're gonna notice that we have a union connection with an O-ring inside there to make the seal. Again, a very useful feature for service down the road. We also offer our Y strainers with or without a set of pressure temperature plugs on the top. You'll notice this particular model has two brass plugs in it to plug off the holes, but we offer them again with pressure temperature plugs so you can check your differential pressure to make sure that the Y strainer is or is not plugged. You can also hook up a pressure transducer to your building management system to give you a warning if it does. At the bottom of the Y strainer, we actually have a service cap here with a small plug in the end of it. This small plug can actually be removed and you can install a drain valve. This drain valve makes blowing down the Y strainer very easy once you have the unit in service. If you have a particular Y strainer that is uh, very plugged, which we've all run into before, you can remove the entire bottom cap. When you remove that entire bottom cap, the whole screen comes out with it. Now obviously you're gonna need to isolate the unit down on the, uh, the inlet side as well as somewhere further downstream so that way you don't have to drain down the whole system. By pulling that white, that strainer basket out of there you can wash it all out and then put it back together. Again this particular cap has an o-ring to make the seal so you don't have to tighten it down too hard but just make sure it's good and snug. So now you're ready to install your Y strainer and what you're going to want to do is install it on the supply line just before your heat emitter like a fan coil or anything like that. And again, you're going to want to make sure to follow the flow arrow that is indicated right on the Y strainer. Beyond that, it can be installed in any orientation, up, down, upside down, doesn't matter, and, uh, and you're good to go. Uh, the sweat models, like this big guy that I have over here, you'll notice that it has sweat in and sweat out. Uh, with that in mind, if you are going to be sweating that in place, you're going to want to make sure to wrap the unit with a wet rag to keep it cool and not damage it from the heat while you're soldering. And a last useful tip for you, if you have our Y strainer installed with a blowdown valve on the, uh, the outlet side of it here, while the system is pressurized and full of water, you can actually close off the inlet ball valve there, remove the cap on the blowdown valve, and open it. This will allow you to back flush the strainer basket that's inside the Y strainer. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any further questions, be sure to contact your wholesaler, your rep, or us directly. And thanks for watching.